Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to build our Moongate arch. Follow along to watch how we transform these individual pressure treated timber sections into this stunning freestanding circular structure that can be used as a focal point, pathway or walkthrough to add character and dimension to any outdoor space. This product is made up of two separate circles that are joined together at a later stage of the assembly process, so let's get started with the first circle. Once you've checked that all of the components are present and correct, you need to lay your first timber section on the ground and simply slot the next section into it. Make sure that the pre-drilled side is on top and then grab your bag of screws and drill them into the holes accordingly. There should be four holes on four screws per section, so do make sure that you use all of the available pilot holes to ensure that the sections are secured together tightly. There's six individual sections per circle, so you'll need to repeat this step another four times until you have a complete first circle. This is ideally a two-man job, so you may need to get your partner to hold two of the sections together whilst you drill to ensure they sit completely flush. Next up is the feet, and you should have two of these per circle, so four in total. Like the timber sections, these simply interlock and then need to be secured down with screws. Once the feet have been added, your first circle will be complete. All you then need to do is move it out of the way and get ready to repeat the exact same process again with the second circle. Now it's time to add the rafters. Before doing this, you need to sit both circles on top of each other in a propped up position so that you can easily access the top sections. There's 12 rafters in total that will need to be spaced evenly. We recommend starting from the top rather than the bottom and this is because if the rafter distribution isn't 100% accurate for whatever reason, it won't be as noticeable at the bottom as it would be at the top. The easiest way to start is to find the exact centre point at the top of the circles. Mark that as you wish, as you can see here we've used some string and then work downwards from there. Although the distance between the rafters is down to individual preference, if you want them spaced as evenly as possible, we recommend a gap of approximately 44 centimetres between each rafter. So, with the string in the centre, the first two rafters will be 22 centimetres in distance from the string and 44 centimetres in distance from each other. As before, the rafters simply slot onto the circles and then need to be drilled down to secure. If needed, you can use a mallet or a similar tool to gently knock them into place. Repeat this step until all of the rafters have been added and then you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. The penultimate step is to then stand the structure up and give it a good check over. As for the rafters, if any of them aren't 100% level, this should be obvious to the human eye once the structure is upright. This can be checked with a spirit level, and if any of them need adjusting, simply use a mallet to knock them into place. Lastly, move your structure into your location of choice and enjoy.